So now we're going to talk about uh, differential staining. These are staining procedures that allow you to differentiate groups of bacteria based on their staining reaction. So one of the most famous was the one by Hans Christian Graham, and he was kind of a workaholic. He was a histologist, so he studied tissue. And his wife had basically given him an ultimatum. Said, you get home at this time for dinner, or you can get a divorce. And that was in a time when people didn't get many divorces. So what happened is he was working. He realized it was late. He went home to eat, and he left the, the specimens of tissue out. The bacteria grew on the specimens. Well, when he came back, he did a, a special stain to look at different properties of the tissue. But what he noticed was the bacteria showed either pink or purple. So he got to wondering why. And he was able to show that you could differentiate between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria using a special staining procedure. This is great because if you think you have a bacterial infection, you can differentiate, you can separate it basically in half. So you rule out half the suspects very quickly by doing a gram stain. It's one that I think you should know for the rest of your life. Uh, also, there are quite a few other differential stains. An acid fast stain is used to differentiate uh, like mycobacterium tuberculosis. Uh, that organism has a waxy coat, and it's very difficult to stain, uh, and it will give you some really weird results with like a gram stain. They typically stain gram positive, but they can be a little different. So, Using an acid fast stain is a great way of differentiating a mycobacterium from other uh, bacteria that may be, say, gram positive uh, staining rods. And it's just a, a great way of differentiating between the groups of bacteria. The differential stains are important, and I'll talk about uh, the gram stain and the acid fast stain separately.